Today on Radical Toys, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Rat Trap. Yes, we've got a Rat Trap. So here we go. This is pretty sharp. Uh, I really like the Kingdom figures. This is looking like a great line. I know this guy's been out for a little bit, but let's go ahead and take a look at him anyway. So let's flip him around, take a look at the package, and see what's going on here. So here he is showcased in that blister back package, which is kind of cool. Um, at the top here, we can see Rat Trap, nice piece of art going on here. Now, I'm wondering if in Kingdom, if they're going to actually look like this, or if it's just kind of like an art style that they decided to go with. And, of course, up here on the top, you see the arc, as well as on the bottom. He is indeed a core class figure, as it is stated on the side, so it's pretty cool. So we flip around the back side here, we can see that he's got 18 steps, of, or, or 18 steps to transform him. I almost said articulation. Did you catch that? Now, he's looking pretty good here. Now, how can you not like Rat Trap? Because I just like this character. Um, I like all the characters in Kingdom. Um, specifically, Eraser is probably my favorite. Hopefully, I'll find her one of these days. But I do like this one as well. So, let's go ahead and get him out of the package. See exactly what's going on with this character. So, hold on, guys, because I will be right back. And here we are. We're going to take a look at Rat Trap. Now, color me impressed because this guy has a heck of a lot of articulation for an action figure that is so tiny. So tiny, in fact. Let's see exactly what his size is because I'm actually kind of curious. He stands three and a half inches to the top of his head. Just amazing uh, what this guy can actually do in posability. Uh, for something so small, and we'll do an art uh, uh, comparison uh, later on here just to see what's going on, so you guys can get an idea of this little figure at the fourteen ninety nine price point here in Canada. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look down at his sculpt and see what's going on here. We'll take our trusty Skeletor sword, as we always do, and we'll just go ahead and see what's going on. Let's zoom on in here. So, for his head sculpt here, he's got a nice uh, chrome going on here. Now, it's really silver. It's It actually looks like a metallic type of color. So, you can tell that's a nice paint job going on there. Because he is indeed sculpted in a beige-ish kind of, like, off-yellowish kind of uh, color plastic there. And you can even see his eyes are sculpted here in red and in here. And you can even see the little teeth like he does in the show. Like this looks pretty close to the show. Like pretty, pretty accurate. At least in the face it does. Really great. Absolutely like this. As we go down we can see that we've got the uh, rat sculpt going on here. And there's even an overwash as you get down closer to the nose. And I like that little touch. It's a nice little touch that they added. And of course... His eyes are that same kind of color as this overwash in terms of the pupil inside there. And, of course, it's also, uh, or the Irish, I should say. And, of course, the eye sculpt itself is in a black uh, painted plastic there, or black paint, I should just say. And as we get to the arms here, you can see that same plain plastic. I like it. Uh, we've got some silver or like more of that metallic look going on here, and we get the maximal symbol, and wow, it's so tiny, yet the uh, they managed to do such a straight paint job on that, I don't know how they managed that, but they did, and it looks cool, because like, uh, you can't even see how close in detail it is off camera, uh, on camera you can really tell that it's nice and straight, and that's both on arms, forearms as well there, you can see that, and as we look down here, you can kind of see the mouse or the rat foot kind of has that beige color going on there. So it's a nice paint job. And of course, he is indeed sculpted in that uh, kind of like a grayish, off grayish type of plastic. And as we turn around here, you can kind of see that he's got the tail for when he transforms. You can kind of see some sculpts and what's going on here, what type of mechanisms are going on here for when you transform them. Uh, we get down to the legs, same idea, uh, sculpts going on here, some nice details going on the thighs here, and down at the shins going on here, same idea, and of course the beige foot. So nice paint job there, looks good. 
And as we look at the bottom, you can kind of see these little slots going on there. Now, does that have anything to do with the transformation? It possibly does. I'll have to wait and see. And, of course, that is his uh, sculpt. Now, let's go ahead and just take a look at his articulation. Because this is where he really kind of impressed me. Because I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting to be able to bend this guy quite a ways. So, for his head, he's got... Uh, like a ball joint, so of course you can just rotate it around, or a joint, because it doesn't really swivel around, it just, it, uh, or not swivel, sorry, it doesn't rock around, it just turns, so that's kind of cool. Oh, that's uh, interesting to note too there, uh, as I miss that, this is painted in a uh, gray to match for when you transform them, to keep it hidden, I would suspect, so that's kind of interesting, we'll have to see that too. And for the arms, he can move outwards, forwards, backwards, he can bend in the elbow there, now he doesn't have any wrist articulation, that's the one downside of it, but hey, com compared to what he can actually do, that's, that's okay, I, I can live with no wrist articulation, even though I don't normally like it, uh, without, and of course he doesn't have any waist swivel just because of the transformation. But what impresses me is the is the legs. So with the hips, you've got that ball joint. You can kind of see the ball joint going on there. And the knee, he's got the double knee joint going on. I wasn't not expecting that on this figure. Just amazing. Just double joint. I like that. Uh, a little bit of hollow going on in there, but uh, it's minor. And uh, of course he has the ball joint for the foot. So of course you can rock that all around. And bend it in. So, I mean, because of that double knee joint, you're going to get some cool poses out of them. Like, really good. I like that. That's really uh, impressive in terms of a scale of three and a half inches. To me, that's impressive. So, I like that. It's pretty cool. Well done there, Hasbro. So, he comes, of course, with one accessory. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check this out right now. And he comes with his gun. Now, it is a that plastic, same color plastic sculpt there. It's got a little bit of details on it. Not overly crazy. He's got some little uh, connectors here, so it looks like they might be able to slot, and when he transforms, we'll have to see. And, of course, it will fit in his hand rather nicely. It's perfect. It won't fall out. You can rotate it a little bit if you need to. Uh, it stays in quite well, and you can, of course, do that in both hands. So, that's really cool. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's pretty neat. So, that is our Rat Trap in human form, or for human form, I should say robot form, not human. He's not a human. And I will also note that you can actually, at this ball joint here, uh, at least on mine, they're easy to pop right off. See how I can just, you know, pull that off. It's not broken or anything, it's just a... Uh, 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 a fairly easy ball joint to take it off and it does stay on there nice it's not really loose or anything like that i'm just kind of concerned over time that that might become loose and uh, yeah i'd be kind of worried about that but as of right now as it stands it's fine so that's kind of cool i just thought it was noteworthy to note something like that and uh while we're kind of thinking about this here give me a sec now i want to do a comparison in the robot form as well in the mouse form so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put them up with optimus primal so here is our optimus primal and of course our rat trap side by side so they're definitely i would say in scale with one another i mean i don't know rat trap is probably uh, if you're thinking of real life terms the rat is probably a little bit big, but in terms of the show and stuff like that, I, I'm pretty sure these are definitely in scale with one another. Because here is our um, core figure and, of course, our Voyager figure. So, that's kind of cool. Anyway, I just wanted to note that and show you guys that right off the bat. Oh, yeah, and he does come with these little instructions here. So, this is for his transformation here. Um... Uh, you kind of stretch this out. We'll move this guy back for a moment. You guys can kind of see the instructions here. How to transform them. And of course I'm going to have to use these because I am horrible at transforming transformers. It is what it is. But I will definitely get them transformed for this review. So, hold on guys because I'm going to be coming right back and we'll see him when he's all transformed. 
here we are. We are in our rat mode for rat trap. So this is pretty good. It um, transforms in a way that uh, a lot of parts are actually hidden aside from you can see the wrist hands sticking out a little bit, but you know what? It's overall not too too bad. Um, I like there's the part that got painted there on the top. So I, they, and they could have left this alone. They could have just left it yellow, but they didn't. They opted to paint it, so that's really cool. So that you can hide the back of the neck there. So that's nice. As we flip them upside down, you can kind of see that his head's kind of hiding here. I wish we had like a plastic cover piece that could cover this. But, you know what, most of the time we're just going to be posing him. If we pose him in the rat mode, we're just going to be like that anyway. So, that's fine. You're not going to see it. The legs are semi-hidden, so that's not too bad. It could just look like he's got a yellow belly, which is kind of neat. I guess that's fine. That's I, I, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, we've got the feet here. They look pretty good. Now, mine doesn't don't like to hinge in that slot very well, but they're supposed to. Um, I might just have mine set up incorrectly. I had a little bit of issue with this gun because mine doesn't seem to like to go in the slot very well here. It does go in, but I got to fight with it. But there we go. I, I got it to stay in there, so it will it will stay in. So he does got the weapon storage. I know he's got the weapon storage in the uh, robot mode too on the back side of him. I just kind of forgot to show you guys that part there, but it does have weapon storage as well. So, that's cool. Um, this is kind of neat. I like the tail here. It's got a nice sculpt going on here. It looks really good. Like, I don't know. I'm very happy with it. Let's go ahead and just, we're just going to go ahead and do a quick comparison time here with Black Arachnia. So, let's go ahead and bring her in. Just so you can kind of get an idea, because I like my Black Arachnia in um, Spider Mode. I really am impressed with it. Uh, I actually like both modes for her, but I really like the spider. So there is the rat against the spider. So that's kind of cool there. You can kind of see the size comparison going on there. So we got the front. We got the side. And we've got the back. Pretty cool. So all in all, I like Rat Trap. I I was impressed because I just didn't expect so much articulation from something that's three and a half in, inches in size. That's just wow. How do you get something so small uh, with so many uh, movable parts and stuff? So well done with that Hasbro. I'm, I'm very happy with it overall. I don't have a whole lot of nitpicking gripe with this guy other than it'd be cool to see some cap covers but i seem to say that about a lot of the transformers we get a lot of open spaces that could be covered um if they probably really wanted to but it's probably due to cost so that's fine it is what it is and overall it's still a great figure i'm glad to have him um as part of the maximal team so i'm very happy there it's pretty sweet so thanks a lot, guys. I know this is probably more of a quicker video, but you know what? I had to go over Rat Trap because I like them and I do like the kingdom. I'm currently on Beast War Season 3 and I absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And um, as always, Radical Toys is out. Mm -hmm.